Neptune. Neptune is the eighth planet from the sun in our solar system. That's the planet Neptune. I'm reading about it in my book. Neptune is the furthest planet from the sun in our solar system. It's so far that it took scientists some time to spot it. But Neptune is very big, nearly four times bigger than the Earth. It looks so peaceful. I could go there to read my book. You might get a bit distracted on Neptune, Chester. Why? It's a very cold planet with strong winds and raging storms. It's what's called an ice giant. Ice giant? That means it's made of rock and ice with slushy, icy liquid on the surface. Look, Neptune's got spots. What do you think they are, Chester? My book says the dark spots on Neptune are actually storms. Hmm, yep. Definitely easier to read all about Neptune than read on Neptune. Find the matching numbers. Star Nebula. Star nebulae are found far away in outer space. Wow, what a beautiful painting. That's not a painting, Willow. It's a star nebula deep out in space. Star nebulas are where the stars are formed. This is called the Crab Nebula. Oh, is it called crab because it looks like a crab? It is. <laughs> Looks more like a butterfly to me. And that one's like a horse's head. That's its name, Horsehead Nebula. Nebulae are made up of gigantic clouds of dust and gas. Wow. Let's write Star Nebula. T A R N E B U L eclipse happens about every 18 months, and you can only see it from certain parts of the Earth. What a beautiful bright day! It's sunny now, Willow, but it's about to turn much darker. But it's not even close to nighttime! You're about to see a solar eclipse. Oh! Is that when the moon passes in front of the sun? It is. As the moon orbits the Earth, Sometimes the moon gets between the Earth and the sun, which blocks the sun's light. I can't wait to see this! Then you're going to need some special eclipse glasses. You should never look directly at the sun. Back in a second! Good work, Willow. Hey! It's already darker! The eclipse has started! Solar eclipses only last a few minutes. And some, called partial eclipses, don't block out all of the sun. But this is a total solar eclipse. It's amazing. As the moon continues in its orbit, the light from the sun is no longer blocked. You know, that felt like the shortest night ever. Get ready to read. Star 
Nebula. Ceres! Ceres is the closest dwarf planet to Earth. Which planet is that? That's what's known as a dwarf planet, Gorby. It's called Ceres. Ceres is the smallest dwarf planet that we know of in our solar system. I thought there were only eight planets. Are there other dwarf planets too? Yes, and you probably know the name of the most famous one. Hmm, it's Pluto. Yes, Pluto's one of the dwarf planets. In between Jupiter and Mars, there's an asteroid belt. That's where you can find Ceres. Wow, so many asteroids! Because Ceres is a dwarf planet, it still has a lot of things in its path. It must be annoying to keep bashing into things all the time. Hey, watch out! Ah! Ceres is up there right now, a dwarf planet thumbing its way through space. Now, let's test your memory. 